Hey everybody, my name is Julian and today I'm going to be teaching you the basics of Adobe Illustrator in 5 minutes. I'm going to go through this pretty fast so you may have to pause the video but I'm going to try to get through everything as quickly as possible. So once you have Illustrator open, you can hit Command N to create a new document, otherwise you can hit Command or Control S to save a document, Command Shift S to save as, or Command O to open a new document. Once you're in a document, you can also hold spacebar, click and drag to pan around. You can also hit Control minus to zoom out and Control plus to zoom back in. One of the most common tools in Illustrator is your layers panel. So you have all the tools on your right hand side which are sort of most frequently used tools and functions. Uh, you can click on the two little squares that will open your layers panel. You can hide and show layers. You can lock and unlock layers. Layers act just like any other program so a layer on top will show those objects on top of other objects and vice versa. One of the most common tools in Illustrator is the rectangle tool. You can hit M on your keyboard to bring it up or you can click and hold on the rectangle and it'll bring up all these sub tools. So if I just click and drag, I can draw a rectangle like so. I can also see the toolbar on the top change once I've made this rectangle. So I can change the fill and stroke and all the other settings about this rectangle. If I want to move around or transform this rectangle, I can just hit V on my keyboard to go to the selection tool. From here, I can grab the corners of it. I can scale it. I can do whatever I want. If I want to scale it uniformly, I can hold shift and click and drag the corner and it will keep the same size. Otherwise, I can hold alt and then it'll scale it uh, sort of from two axes at the same time. It will basically mirror whatever I'm doing. Another great tool is the star tool. So if you click and hold on the rectangle tool, we can go down to the star tool. I can click and drag to create a star and I can also press the up and down arrow keys on my keyboard to decrease or increase the amount of points that star has. This is a really quick and easy way to make a triangle inside of Illustrator. If I want to manipulate any specific point of this triangle, I won't be able to use a selection tool. I'll have to use the direct selection tool. So you can just hit A on your keyboard to go to the direct selection tool and I can click on any one of the specific points of this triangle and edit them individually. This is how you basically access and change any sort of point in Illustrator, whether it's a shape or a pen tool line or any sort of object. You can also direct select multiple points using the lasso tool. So you can hit Q on your keyboard to go to this tool and then I can basically draw a little circle around any sort of points I'd like to select and I can also select multiple points and then I can just go back to my direct selection tool hitting A and then I can move these points individually. If you have any sort of shape or pen tool path in Illustrator, you can customize this in any way. So once I'm in the pen tool, if I hit P, I can also hit plus to add any anchor point to a line. I can also hit minus to remove our anchor point. So I can click on this anchor point right there and I'll remove it. Or I can hit back to plus and it'll create a new one. The pen tool is another common tool in Illustrator. So if I just delete this, I can hit P to go back to my pen tool. I can click anywhere in the document and it'll create a point. I can click again and it'll create a, a linear line between those two points. Or I can click and drag and it'll create a curved point. I can then hit Alt on the end of any point to get rid of that continued curvature and to make a sharp point. This is really great for creating any sort of custom shapes or lines inside of Illustrator. I can then go back to V to my uh, move tool and then I can select and drag any one of these points. I can also go back to my direct selection tool and then manipulate these points individually like I showed before. Another great variation of the pen tool is the curvature tool. So you'll see this just next to your pen tool, otherwise you can hit shift and then I think it's a little squiggly key. Um, this is a custom uh, sort of command because this is a new tool, but it acts very similar to pen tool. You can basically click in multiple points and it will carry on the curvature. I can also hit alt on a point to make it uh, basically a sharp point and get rid of the curvature. If you want to create text inside of Illustrator, you can just hit T to go to the type tool and then you can just click anywhere and begin typing. Uh, if I click and hold on the type tool on the left hand toolbar, you can see there's an array of different type tools. You can actually type along paths or inside of areas. It's really easy to use and it's a great tool. Another great tool is the brush tool. You can just hit B on your keyboard to access this tool. You can also hit the bracket keys on your keyboard to decrease or increase the size of your brush. Great thing about the Illustrator brush tool is it basically smooths out all of your brush strokes. So it's really great for creating sort of custom typography or any sorts of lettering or shapes. Something that's really handy in Illustrator is the eyedropper tool. So if I just create a little shape here and give it some custom properties like a custom color and stroke, and then if I create another shape and then change those color properties to something different, 
What I can do is whilst having one of these items selected, I can hit I to go to the eyedropper tool and then I can click on any other object in Illustrator and it will match those color settings and any sort of appearance settings that object has. The shape builder tool is an amazing tool for creating custom shapes or even logo designs. So I can drag these two triangles together and then hit shift M to go to the shape builder tool and you can see it will basically highlight the shapes. Uh, you can basically select one or more shapes and then hit the key and you can basically create custom shapes from the overlapping paths of these. You can also get rid of certain parts. So if I hold Alt and then click on the middle section here, I've actually deleted that part. Or I can hit Shift to create a new part. Um, and then we can basically click on any sorts of the parts and then you can just hit Escape and it'll create custom shapes based on those overlapping positions. So that's basically it. Those are the core fundamental settings of Illustrator. Obviously, there's way more to Illustrator. It's almost impossible to do any sort of video in five minutes for Illustrator, but I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, and the tools and settings that I've gone through in this video are basically the ones that I use the most. Uh, you'll be surprised on how much you could create just knowing these basic tools and functions. So as always, I hope you have an amazing day, everybody. If you have any ideas for future tutorials, any sort of content you'd like me to cover, be sure to let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear everybody's feedback. It's been Julian of Flow Graphics here. See you later.